Hi there, Gemini. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 29th of July. Anything that you've been putting off or sweeping under the carpet could have a habit of coming back this week and it may require you to finally confront it. This could be a niggling health issue that requires you to go to your physician or your dentist or your local alternative health practitioner. And if you've been putting up with something gamely, get it sorted. You will feel better for doing this. But also things can come out into the open in very sudden and unexpected ways due to the fact that Uranus is clashing with Mars. The suggestion here is that when it comes to money and idealism or even friendship, the two areas don't mesh together particularly well. So you need to be very realistic. In fact, if you are, there is the potential for transformation in a positive way. But with Jupiter opposing Pluto all this week, there's a possibility that you could set your heart on something. And this prize, this goal, this treasure, if you like, may be something that in some ways could be viewed as being a bit luxurious, a bit beyond what's absolutely necessary to get by on. And if you get too caught up in all of this, it could see you getting a bit greedy, getting caught up in something that actually won't be good for your heart. So you may have to resist, and resisting is not necessarily easy. So if you are in a business negotiation and there is a chance to get a bit more of the cake, well, think of the other side, because if a deal is done that's not really fair, it will always come back to haunt the situation. So if you can, be very straightforward around anything to do with property or finances. If you can, Venus is making a fine link with Pluto, which suggests you could do well if you keep your feet on the ground. It's if you get swept away. Now with Mars also forging a great link with Venus, if you're fortunate enough to be in a relationship where you and yours share very similar values, well this can be very good. You can help, this can help you to tune into one another. But equally, if you're interacting with anyone that you don't quite understand, the potential for people to plot and not really be upfront, be a bit sneaky and two-faced, is very strong on the back of a quarter moon which forges a T-square with Saturn, and this could get you down. You may feel that other people are excluding you, not quite keeping you in the loop, and that in itself can affect your nervous system and your nervous energy. What you can do is try to be as virtuous as possible about what you're eating and drinking. And with Jupiter off of opposite Pluto, there is a danger that anything rich, calorific, boozy could take your fancy. And it's all down to that old maxim of everything in moderation. If you can be disciplined, not get too uh, bound up in your desires, then you can end this week feeling in, in better health, in a better position, but also much more realistic about who you can do business with and who you can really trust. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.